What's going on, everybody? I'm Primal Liquid, and welcome to my guide for Atelier Riser Free. In this video, I'm going to be teaching you everything there is to know about the new Atelier remodeling feature. And no, I am not talking about placing decorations in the Atelier. I am talking about actually building a new Atelier and adding custom effects to it. Also, just for you guys, I have kept this atelier perfectly in its base form until I made this video. And just so you know, I'm like 80 hours into the game at this point, okay? So, let's talk about it, shall we? First of all, you can create a total of four ateliers. One in each of the four main regions of the game. And you do this by interacting with these little placards now the story will have you create one in each zone okay so do not worry these are impossible to miss now we're going to talk about extensions in a minute but first let's talk about the base forms okay there are three versions of atelier that you can create and you are going to have at least one of those versions okay you, now when you first build an atelier it will start as a research base. Now, the research base basically just shows you where treasures are on the map, okay? That's actually quite good because if we actually look at the map real quick, as you can see right here in the Cork Isle area, there's 104 treasure chests. There's four over here, four over here, six over here, eight over here, eight over here. And remember, the game is all one big giant zone. There's no loading screens. We go from the Cork Isle to the shore, we can walk all the way up to the volcano and so on and so forth. No loading screens. Maps are, well, let's just say treasure chests are incredibly painful to find, especially here in this area. It's like this area is a nightmare for them because they're all hidden in the water as well as like on the islands and the caves and so on and so forth. So if you want to get all treasure chests, that is going to be the one that you want. What I will say though is don't worry about treasure chests they are all terrible okay there is nothing good at all in treasure chests and absolutely none of them contain recipes or anything like that it's just basic ingredients that don't even have like good quality or good traits or anything like that they are bare bones pretty much the next version of atelier is the farm now the farm atelier basically builds a garden on the side of the atelier which then allows you to plant seeds and this is the garden right here you can plant up to four seeds in the garden in total and that will not change no matter how many times you upgrade it you are still limited to four seeds other than that the final atelier version is the laboratory now the laboratory basically just increases the sp you gain okay now this means sp from synthesis from um uh, from quests and so on and so forth this will just increase all form of sp gain now what i would suggest doing at the start of the game is in the car kyle build your laboratory okay build a laboratory because you want sp incredibly incredibly early also what i will say is each of the four zones okay each of the four zones can either have the same atelier or can have a different atelier so if you really wanted to you could have a farm atelier in every single zone or you could have a laboratory atelier in every single zone likewise you can change these whenever you want so right now i'm on the farm version i could change this over to the laboratory right now all i would need to do is basically just rebuild it so if I go to rebuild right now, all I would need to do is if I just sort by, um, well, I don't, I'm not even going to sort. All I would need to do is just add the ingredients in that's necessary. Now, obviously, effect spread does not work here, okay? Also, you don't need any quality or any special effects or anything like that. So just use your absolute worst items here, okay? Just use your absolute worst ones. However, I'm not going to do that because I want to keep my farm atelier here. Now, other than that, okay, we can also do extensions. Now, for extensions, this is actually going to be a little bit differently. It works the same way as remodeling in that we have to, you know, sort of change the style and add materials and so on and so forth. 
just like this pretty much remodeling is uh, sorry extensions all the same so if we go to extension right now keep in mind this atelier is the garden version okay this is the farm version so each of the extensions that we build are basically going to improve the farm so what i mean by that is if i was to build this room right here the flower room this would boost quality and traits of gathered item from the gathering fields and what i mean by that is the four seed planting areas that we can do this one would be the same it would just be an extra boost basically so once again exactly the same the only thing different is the appearance of the room but i will show you you know a fully built version momentarily so this gives you two quality boosts and two trait boosts to seed items basically we have the greenhouse which boosts quality and quantity this time so quality increase again and the extra quantity from seeds also a very nice to have and last but not least is windmill which once again is the exact same you simply need crops harvested from the field uh, sorry it simply gives you extra quality and quantity of crops harvested from the field now this right here this atelier is the base version okay this has had no upgrades whatsoever so we're going to go back to the cork isle area right now and we'll go to this atelier this one i have already upgraded to level three well technically level five like i've built all the extensions basically so first of all it does open up two doors now if you remember the atelier we were in just both of these rooms were sealed okay we have the nice flower room here and then we have a little lounge sort area over here if we go outside of the atelier however you will notice a few small differences so first of all the atelier itself actually doesn't look any different on the outside okay it is really not that different it looks a little bit bigger but not hugely then we have a building over here now depending on the sort of atelier that you are using this building will be different also so will the actual general aesthetic of the atelier and then of course you will have another building over here now this atelier is fully upgraded okay as you can see i do not have an extension option here anymore however if i wanted to remodel this okay if i because i fully built the laboratory out here as you can see i gain massive sp rates so i get free sp boosts from creating the extensions add special items to shops which i'll talk about in just a moment and easier to find ingredients with super traits honestly i haven't really seen any sort of benefit from that super traits effect so i'm not sure if it's bugged or not but you know it's it's there basically the add special items to shops is sort of a little special effect i haven't got one here right now but basically if you were to rest at the atelier or just come back here randomly there will be an npc standing either here or here and he will be a store npc however the stores in riser 3 are terrible literally literally terrible okay you're probably never even going to spend a single coal in this game actually so what we can do with remodeling is because i fully rebuilt the laboratory out if i was to remodel to a farm okay it would build the fully upgraded farm so i wouldn't need to build another extension it would just automatically be fully built likewise that would be the same with the research base so we've already seen all the effects of the farm and all the effects of the laboratory now let's talk about the research base so the first effect is obviously it shows treasure on the map i already mentioned that previously the second one is increases chance of supply points appearing that one in and of itself is actually quite good if you are still hunting recipes but again i wouldn't really recommend that until you have a way of creating super keys very easily next we have increases landmark power growth rate again it's a very nice ability only when you can routinely create super rare keys in other words you need to make be able to make pristine keys with the rarity up to ability and in order to do that you need philosopher stones once you can do that this one is actually quite worthwhile for getting a bunch of key effects other than that the extended inventory effect time honestly that's pointless i've never made use of that well i've tried to make use of it 
but the adventure effects just net they aren't worth it unfortunately outside of the rare monster spawn the stronger monster spawn and the rare gather point spawn adventure effects just are not worth it whatsoever and the last one is increases chances of finding random quests now the random quests are the little green quests that you will have on the field ignore these markers they're for something else basically as you're walking through like if i was walking um if I was following this path here, for example, going up the way, eventually, you know, there might be a little green icon that suddenly spawns here while I'm walking past. And it might want me to gather three items in this little circle area. Upon doing so, it would reward me with a little SP, basically. Those are the random quests. This is by far the most useless ability. Random quests, you'll probably do them the first hour you play the game, and then you probably just won't touch them again. They do often require you to go way out of your way for next to no reward. So they just aren't worth it. Now, we've gone over what the Atelier effects are. Let's talk about which one you should use. Firstly, you can change these whenever you want. Okay. What I would strongly suggest doing though, especially early on, in the first and the second area okay so this is the first area that you can build an atelier at you'll get here like 30 to 60 minutes into the game this is the cork isle you will build this as part of the story next to the big lighthouse this is the first one you can build immediately and i do mean immediately remodel this into a laboratory okay the sp gain rate is going to be fundamentally important the sooner you can get through the skill tree the better and you are going to need a lot of sp for that okay the sooner you do that the more benefit you will see from it other than that in the second area i would also suggest using a laboratory because chances are you are not going to have the uh, skill tree complete if you do have the skill tree complete by the second area, great. Use the research base and just collect all treasure chests while you go through and, you know, use the keys to unlock the supply points and that. And do that for the third and the fourth area as well. The only time you should ever use the farm is once you have all four regions unlocked and, and you have all of the seed recipes unlocked okay so when i say all the seed recipes i mean plant which you start with stone fire water mystic poison and golden all of these recipes come from supply points throughout the four zones using super rare keys okay once you have them then you can start creating farms the reason I suggest leaving it so late, okay, is because seeds are heavily, heavily nerfed in Rise of Free. Firstly, well, let me just go back to uh, my farm area really quick and I will show you what I mean. Now, firstly, seed gathering in Rise of Free, it will only give you items that you have already gathered, okay? So what I mean by that is if we actually just look right here on the right hand side, you can see what is harvestable from mystic seeds. So as you can see below dark crystal fragments, there is nothing there. That is because I've not been able to find this item yet. And also I've spoken to other people who have had review copies. Nobody can find this item. So at the moment, we're sort of waiting for the data mine to see what that actually is and how to get it. So what this means, when if you create plant seeds as soon as you are able to, you're not going to be able to gather any of these items from them, okay? You need to have first gathered them from the field. So if we go to items right here, all of these items, if you want to get these from seeds, you need to find them in the field first. And that also goes from enemy drops boss drops um quest rewards and so on so forth as long as you have the item added to your guidebook okay 
you will be able to gather it from seeds now there are some items in the game that you cannot gather from seeds for example lightning tree lightning tree does not come from a seed um one of the fragments does not come from seeds i think it's holy that doesn't come from seeds you can't get that from seeds mystic sphere you can't get that from seeds now granted the majority of these items you aren't really ever going to use in synthesis anyway but some of there's the missing item by the way if anyone ever finds out what that item is please let me know down in the comments but yeah the vast majority of items okay you are not going to be able to gather for a very long time now see i immediately rushed for seeds because i know how broken they were in rise of one in rise of two in sophie two and so on so forth they are heavily heavily nerfed in rise of three the simple fact oh there's the shop npc that i was telling you guys about before as well uh, but the simple fact that you can only get items that you've already gathered from seeds means there's no point until you're basically ready for making end game items and end game equipment simply due to the fact you already need to have found them in the field and the items that you really really want you are not going to be able to gather until you can already get the final effects on your gathering tools for rank free items but though everybody that is going to be it for this video i hope you've learned a lot about the atelier remodeling feature and i hope this video has been incredibly helpful if it has then please be sure to go ahead and smash that like button and of course drop a comment down below and for anybody new to the channel make sure you hit that subscribe button i have tons and tons of atelier riser free guides both already out and both coming which you should also totally take a look in the playlist down in the description as well as that's where you can find all my riser free stuff as always though everybody thank you for watching and i'll see you soon